we'll start it off then. Uh, we'll just do a segment of movie stuff here, and we'll start it off with the uh, the fucking uh, Monster Hunter movie <laughs> that yeah. Hollywood, our hometown's making this fucking yeah. thing. And it's not fully through production yet, and as you all know, not a lot of movies that get <sighs> like greenlit actually get made in the end. But this one's apparently just chugging along like, hey, you're not fucking stopping us. Yeah. If you don't know what Monster Hunter is, it's a Japanese game where you get really big weapons and you hunt even bigger monsters. Yeah. It's the That's title. the premise. That's it. Basically. I, I played a couple of them. I don't hate the genre. It, you know, it was kind of fun. But not at one point playing that was I like, man, I wish this was a movie. <laughs> I really, I really got to experience this on the big screen. It's like, man, I'm sure they wouldn't make this be like that movie Rain of Fire at all. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out, like, wow, how would you don't even need to have it be the title of this? Like, it's, it, it'll it's just gonna, call it Monster Hunter. It's just it'll be a it. generic movie about hunting monsters. Yeah, that's literally the games. As far as I know, they'll have a really big story to it. It's just there's monsters, you hunt them. You're a fucking monster hunter. You're just a different person living in a different village, and there's just monsters that keep showing up, and you keep taking the jobs to go kill them. Yeah, and then you craft better weapons and armor out of so it. So you can go kill bigger monsters. That's I don't yeah. see how you can make an hour and a half. In movie some iterations this. of the games, you 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 make your own farm and harvest your own like vegetables and potions. Oh, I to would heal love yourself. to see that in movie yeah, form. Yeah, fucking farm simulator the movie. Real time. Rated R. <laughs> well, we're getting a Harvest Moon. We're getting a Harvest Moon movie. Seriously? Fuck! No, we're not. Nah. We're fucking <laughs> to me. I would literally go and drown myself in that damn river. <laughs> Fuck. No, boring Harvest that would Moon be. Movie. Yeah, yeah, I, I oh need yeah. A, I need a farm dating sim movie. <laughs> Thank you. The Thanks terrible a lot. thing is, and is not not a fucking PG thirteen one either. A rated G farm and dating sim movie. So it's basically gonna be, hey, I like you. I like you too. End of the movie. Yeah. No intimacy whatsoever because it's rated G. The only holes getting plugged in that movie is in the ground oh. with seeds. Stop, bro. There's kids listening. The only plowing's in the fields. The only plowing's in the fields. <laughs> that doesn't make it any better. <laughs> just do a close-up shot of a guy putting seeds in the hole like, yeah, 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 yeah that's good. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why? Rated G. <laughs> Fucking kill me. Oh, calm down. You were doing good. So good. And now you're getting mad for no reason. Because <laughs> you guys are making this disgusting... I was like, oh man, this might be the week where Jason works with me. No, no, now he's mad. He ain't nope. gonna do anything now. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you're over your finger fucking the earth. No. We're just... Well, we're I mean, just... Mother Nature needs a little help every now and then, too. <laughs> yeah, that's what the honeybees are for, but we're killing them off. Yeah, it's true. Well. Did you guys know that out there in Radio Land? <laughs> It is news. <laughs> it's fucking important. Uh, well, there's the, the Monster Hunter movie. Mm -hmm. So, and then uh, Resident Evil's getting a new uh, CGI movie. Yeah. Not a real life one because they don't want to kill anybody anymore. Um, <laughs> well, honestly, no one asked for any of the live action ones. The first one was shit. And then they, well, they decide, we should just keep making these until the world ends. Yeah. Well, Mila Jovovich needs something to do. Yeah, get a real job. <laughs> As long as your husband's the person that's directing all these movies, you're guaranteed <laughs> don't, the star role. Don't you fucking do that shit with uh, Helen Carter, but whatever the fucking name is. Helen Bonham Carter. Yeah, that mm -hmm. bitch. Who? Well, I, I can't put a face to the name. That's Tim Burton's wife. Oh, that's well, he. That's fucking it's what? What else? What is it? That's what he does. Anytime he's like, hey, what classic literature can I fuck up this time? Hey, well, honey, get in there. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be the Red Queen? Fucking yeah, sure. Get in there. Just, Make you look like a little fucking hobbit. Just fucking do it. <laughs> just fucking do it. I just, I, I kind of, like, half remember there was a Saturday Night Live skit where they they made fun of the fact that what if Tim Burton made the Smurfs and Lana <laughs> Carter was Smurf in it. Bet. And I'm pretty sure Garth Brooks was the host of this episode, and I'm pretty sure they painted him blue, and it was, yeah. Poor it's Garth Brooks. Pretty good. <laughs> was it Garth Brooks or was it Chris Gaines? We'll never know. We'll never They're the same Who person. <laughs> It's like asking, is it Beyonce or Sasha Fierce? I, I heard somebody tell me once they're the same guy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to the rest of the evil movie. <laughs> we got all yeah, So this is supposed yeah. to be, you said it's supposed to be kind of like a retelling of the first I'm not sure if it's going to be a or, retelling or, attached. or if it's going to be similar in scope to what Resident Evil 1, the game, was like. Okay. All I know is 
From it's, all the pictures I've seen, Leon Kennedy's plastered all over that. Yeah, Leon and, Leon and Chris are all over because Leon is the guy you want in your well, they're like know, well, action. They're the only movies. two. We created new characters, but nobody <laughs> gives a fuck. We even made it's Wesker's son, and people are like, "It gives a shit. He's bald. Get the <laughs> no, fuck out of here." No one fucking. He's not liked wearing a Wesker. Matrix jacket. <laughs> no one liked Wesker ever. I did. Even in one, he was such a fucking I the, asshole. I like the way he talked. <laughs> <laughs> well, then in Revelations, they brought his sister into it. Oh, I forgot about that shit. Gross. Yeah. Wesker had a sister. Yeah. Hmm. Chris tried the banger. What? It's bang everything. It's Chris. He's, you gotta fucking do something when you got a neck the size of a fucking redwood tree. <laughs> boulders. <laughs> you fucking what? Punching boulders with your giant ham hands. <laughs> okay, so his neck is a redwood, but his hands are only the size of a fucking ham. It's proportionate. <laughs> yeah. That is not proportionate. It's on the fly. I can't his, get it all down. His hands should be like the size of like a fucking Volkswagen Beetle. <sighs> nah, hams. Big hams. <laughs> big, big hams. <laughs> Twenty pound hams. Hams. Hams where they just sewed other hams together. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this movie. Multi ham ham. <laughs> God damn it! I hate you guys. <laughs> all right, so this movie. Now you know how I feel, motherfucker. <laughs> no, you do it to yourself. Don't even do that to me. All right, so this movie. <laughs> yeah. This was your topic anyway. Yeah, it was. Uh, there, <laughs> for the most part, there's not too much on it. They just said that it's going to be involving Chris, obviously, because like you just said, if you fucking look it up, there's shit tons of stuff about uh, yeah. Chris. I can't remember what it's called. All I remember is Biohazard something because it's fucking the Japanese so we're in title. Japan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's. It's going to be taking place, I'm assuming, in a mansion because they have pictures of a mansion and shit. It's just like Resident Evil 1. So if you played Resident <laughs> Evil 1 or know about Resident Evil 1, this new movie is going to be like that because Might be good. Capcom is learning faster than Konami did about how... Oh, and <laughs> Sega. We should keep our stuff the way the people like it and not keep fucking it up. Yeah. Let's get that... Let's get that girl and that hedgehog to make out. <laughs> <laughs> That's what all the kids want, right? All our faithful fans. <laughs> they don't want platforming with a little bit of speed. They want uh, anthropomorphic animals banging teenage girls. <laughs> you saved me, Sonic. He's like, yeah, yeah I did. <laughs> <laughs> gotta, gotta go fast. Corn dogs, hot dogs, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Chili dogs. <laughs> and when that doesn't work, you know what we'll do? We'll get real edgy. Bring out the shadow, and then people will love us again. Ah, we won't. Yeah. Put him on a motorcycle, because, you know, he can't run faster than that. Give, Give him some guns. <laughs> Fuck. Where's my coke? <laughs> God damn it. Oh, Jesus. Well, speaking of things that sound like people might have been doing coke, uh, there's a Toxic Avengers remake. Mm -hmm. Well, no, I shouldn't say Avengers, because that insinuates there's more than one terrible character. Toxic Avenger remake. Toxie uh, is a great, lovable guy. Who the fuck are they going to get to play Toxie? Now, is this don't is this being done by Lloyd Kaufman's terrible fucking production studio Lloyd or is, Trauma? Yeah, is this being done by <laughs> Trauma or is like did somebody in Hollywood just say, "Hey, I don't have any more ideas." I think like, they're just licensing the character. I but. hope it's a fucking god. I hope it's Patrick Warburton. What? No, no, that's, that's too fucking easy. You know who's got Toxie. <laughs> you, know who's, you know who's gotta be? Brock Lesnar. Jesus Christ. Uh, That's he, he, I, I don't think he can speak. I've never heard the man talk. He doesn't have to speak, he's gonna yell a whole bunch. They're yeah. gonna get somebody else to play uh I can't remember the, the guy's name before he became Toxic Avenger. Uh uh Melvin. Yeah, yeah. Yo, you can get That's how fucking God damn it. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Like, uh, what's, what's the Why do I know that, this? That guy's name. He played uh, the other guy that basically became Bobby in Supernatural that then became a werewolf. You know what I'm talking about, though, Holy right? Holy shit. No. You, <laughs> you remember, uh, he, in, he was also in Breaking Bad. He played the undercover detective that caught uh, Badger. Oh, fuck, yeah. You know, you, you I know the, the face. Yeah, him. Okay. He would play 
whatever the fuck the kid's, I just forgot his name, Walter, Was, Wesker, what the fuck's the, the kid's name that was Toxic Avenger before he was Toxic Avenger? Melvin. 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 <laughs> <laughs> there we go. He can play him. I'm like, Melvin. <laughs> to Melvin. To Melvin. Yeah, what the fuck, is it, is it like a retelling? Or is it a new movie, like a sequel? I think it's a new, I think it's a reboot. <laughs> reboot. Now, I tell I you one. I a fucking reboot. I want a sequel. I tell you one thing, though. If they make this re reimagining or whatever they're doing, but it still doesn't have that one car stunt that he uses in every movie, <laughs> it's not canon. That's all, there is. That's uh, all I'm going to say. They need to put that uh, in. And don't like up the video quality of it either. Just put it in straight with like 8 millimeter graininess and everything. <laughs> Looks like everything he films, he films like on a camcorder from the 80s. He probably did. Yeah. Why would you not? You know how cheap that is? He's there yeah. now. He's just like, All the these. profits are yours then. He's like, look at these fucking iPhones. I can film with these. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. They're so portable. I can stick it on anything. It just. Well, let's be honest. You've liked a few trauma pictures. Yeah, when I was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> like, younger when I was just like, hey, you know, uh, I'm tired of watching good movies. Let's just watch some stupid shit. Dude, Toxic Avenger is a fucking entertaining movie. It's funny. I'll give it that much. You know, but it was the gateway to him making a lot of really terrible things. Like, he puts out Toxic Avenger and it's just like, oh, well, they'll watch that. Well, maybe they'll watch Sergeant Kabuki Man, NYPD. <laughs> and they're like... What's that? It's or like, I just made it up. Or, or how about what was it? Surf Nazis? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was Surf Nazis. <laughs> God uh, damn, he came up with like the those worst ideas. Tromeo and Juliet. Oh, oh, Poltergeist. Poltergeist. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> That's like you can see that movie and you're like, he just doesn't care anymore. He's just like, how many boobs can I get on screen? They're like, eight. Okay, that's my max. That's it. <laughs> He doesn't really care whose boobs they are either. No, he's like, man, those are gross. Get in there. <laughs> and kids will like it. Did uh, y'all say they won't? And the funny Jesus. thing is, like, a lot of people don't remember, but there was a toxic uh, Crusaders cartoon. Mm -hmm. and I think I remember that, actually. Many, it spawned a couple video games, mm -hmm. too. Yeah. All of which we own, I think. <laughs> <laughs> You sound so disappointed in yourself. <laughs> it just makes me think. I'm like, shit, we might have to play these someday. Yeah. Like, you're, you're just sitting there like, man, I really fucked up at some point getting these games. <laughs> okay. Well, that's that one. We're not done with movie news yet. Um, this is quite a bit. There is quite a bit. Uh, I'm just trying to find the other ones that I had here. It's just like... You want to do the uh, Veroni Kenshin? Yeah, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> well, any of you uh, good old 90s anime fans, I know there's like two. Yeah. I like I like anime from then. Yeah, there's some really good ones. I like the that shit that nobody know. watches though. You gotta know. Like what? I'm like I tell people I'm like you ever watch that the uh, the Giver show and they're like who? You like, talk man. about Giver so fucking much like it's the only thing you it watch. Was good. God damn it. Anyway, <laughs> Roroni Kenshin or look it up. <laughs> You don't know why it's American title. It was also known as Samurai X. It's fan fucking tastic. It's a very good anime. He couldn't be stopped. <laughs> He's just going all around Japan killing dudes. He wasn't <laughs> killing people. He stopped killing people. He slashed in the bits, and then he was like, "I retire." He went to a nice beach resort. <laughs> then some guy shows up. He's like, "Hey, I always wanted to kill you." He's like, "Well, you can try." I had time to relax now. <laughs> <laughs> and he kills him on the beach. He's like, all right, who wants s'mores? And then that was the end of the movie. Movie? Yeah. <laughs> you, what? It was all a movie to me. <laughs> so I watched it all at once. God damn it, man. It was one four and a anyway, half hour long movie. <laughs> for those of you that care. I do care. They made a live action <laughs> Roni Kenshin movie. Yes. The cast looks. There's going to be a lot of dead people from this movie. Similar enough. But, I mean, you can't really get perfect adaptation How the between... fuck can you get a Roni Kenshin's hair? They, they, they did, and they went pretty normal with it. But they, he does still have a scar and all that. Okay. And good. it's... It, I watched the trailer. It looked really fucking good, honestly. Now, is this going to be just in Japan? I'm assuming that it's just going to be a Japanese movie, but they might make an American release for, like, DVD or something. Yeah. Oh, uh... Because I doubt it would ever come to theaters here. The Godzilla Resurgence actually got a United States release date, too. For theaters yeah. or... Uh, For select theaters. Select theaters. Yeah, I did see that. So I probably nothing around here. <laughs> no, so probably, probably in Philadelphia. You'll probably have to go to Philly. 
You don't have to drive to Philly. There's a train that'll take you there. I'll fly. Oh my God! This shut up with this flying shit. Are you doing okay over there? No, it sounds like you're having some kind of fucking. <laughs> These chicken fries are killing me from I the told inside, you. man. I, I should have eaten death. one and been done. That's it. I was surprised you went back. You ate one and then you. I went tried back. to get the fucking flavor that that's supposed to exist on me. I'm they just don't. surprised they, it, it you just did. Does all. <laughs> Okay, it was a waste of my, it was a waste of my time. I saying? fucked up. Surprise, you did. It's a whole okay, I, I fucked up. We all know it. So one, one last piece of movie news. Then we're gonna move into some game stuff because there's a lot of that too. Uh, the villain for Wolverine three was announced, and it was Mister Sinister. I'm fucking excited about that. Actually, Mister Sinister was one of my favorite. Now, villains. see, I think it's <laughs> awesome, but. <clears throat> get the they were going with the old man Logan storyline, so how the fuck is he still wait, alive? Wait, wait, yeah. Well, they <laughs> teased they tease this at the end of uh, what was the most uh, ap apocalypse. They did tease this, which I don't really get because. But that was supposed to be like supposed to be before apocalypse. Yeah. See, they're just totally well, fucking the thing, all, like, the, all the timelines. That part in apocalypse is like they found him in the Weapon X compound, and that was him getting out. So now it's just gonna be like what? It's just like the next day he's old. <laughs> and Sinister's just like, I want that. I want your DNA. And he's like, I'm old, bro. And he's like, Wait, how are you old? You're supposed to be youthful forever. And he's like, I don't know, me. I'm old though. You probably don't want this blood. It's tainted now. And I just like, hope. Shit. I just hope they get Stardust Cody Rhodes to play Mister Sinister. Why do you want fucking Cody Rhodes? Because if you've seen the makeup and the costumes he just was wearing, just because he wears makeup that's close to it doesn't mean he's gonna be able to do the role. <laughs> there are like sixty billion people that would just wear whatever. Have you not seen the goddamn cosplayers in this world? <laughs> It'd be like asking Sting to do the fucking Crow remake. <laughs> Why not? He was the crow. He would have been yeah. better than Jason Momoa. They'll be in the movie and they'll, they'll be a part of the like, take off your mask. And he does, and it says mask <laughs> under the mask. <laughs> it's not a mask, it's just face paint. He's just like, woo! All around fucking, you know, all around the city on Hell Night. Just woo! Woo! Blowing up Gideon's fucking pawn shop. Yeah. Smashing things with baseball bats. Every time an explosion. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Ric Flair will play Gideon too. How about that, Will? We'll put all the wrestlers in good mood. Oh my race. god. <laughs> god damn it. I'm fucking. Fucking done. Hulk Hogan will play Ernie Hudson's role. He'll be the fucking cop. <laughs> he gives him a dog and he's like, here, watch after this. You know, I hate cat. to say it, but watch there's, after no my way, cat. there's no way Hulk Hogan would play a role that was played by a black man. I'm <laughs> just saying that right now. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, I was spit my fucking water everywhere. I'm doing this to pay it back, brother. You have to remember that was that was Hulk Hogan, not Terry. No, Terry Balea. Balea. If they get Terry Balea to play that role, Terry Balea. You gotta remember your fucking actor. Yeah, man. as Ernie Hudson. <laughs> 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 oh, so no, but no, in all seriousness, you can't stop me. The chicken fingers are I don't know how they're going to do magic. this. They're the only there. thing I can think of is they're just not going to connect it to Apocalypse, even though they hinted at Sinister in Apocalypse. And they kind of did it in a veiled way. You like people who didn't know the guy's his name that wouldn't have known what it was all about. But um, I'm just worried about what they're gonna make Mr. Sinister look like. I don't know. Well, I'll tell you right now. They fucked up Apocalypse. And why are good. they referring to this as Wolverine Three? Because nobody knows what to call it. Right now. <laughs> they're like being too safe. They don't want to be like it's Old Man Logan. They're like really like I don't know. <laughs> I mean, he's definitely older. Like, Boy, you're the ones making the movie. Yeah, but. Mm. Yeah, like I said, I don't Not know, sure but yet. Mr. Sinister won't look like that. No. Like Mr. Sinister. Mm -mm. They're probably just going to make him like a little suit and then put party streamers all over the back of it. <laughs> no, I get the it feeling, won't be white either, it'll be blue. I get the feeling they're going to make it really, really modern. And by really modern, I mean way too fucking modern. Yeah. And his, yeah, he's not going to be wearing purple and red. It's going to be like black. That's it. Yeah, it's just gonna be all black. He won't, have, I don't think he'll have any of the fucking like his cape won't be like that. No, it'll just he be like a bodysuit and he'll have yeah. like pale skin and black armor. He won't have the collar either. <laughs> yeah. <What? laughs> uh, okay, here's Will's point. <laughs> I'll give him that. Okay, you fucking, there. You love the fact that that there, exists, fine, don't there. you? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fine. There you go. If you're listening, Fox, Cody Rhodes needs some money. Yeah, he's not.